of is that there's nothing that I'm going to give you all today that's a secret. There are no secrets. These are tried, true, proven methods that my mentors, that my coaches have given me, and we're just going to unpack some things together. Fair enough? All right, so here's the idea. Everyone, like, depending on what side of the rope that you're on, of this velvet rope, you either love it or you hate it, right? If you've already gone beyond the velvet rope, you like the idea of exclusivity. You like the idea that maybe Hafid can't get in, right? And you're sitting there back there looking at him like, yeah, if you pay a little more. But if you're on the outside looking in, this right here can make us feel a little nervous. It can make us feel anxious, right? And so what I'm going to challenge you all with today um, are going to be some things to help us move beyond the velvet rope. Now, I said a word earlier. I forgot to tell you all. Me being the son of a Navy man, I am going to use some four letter words. I'm going to use some colorful language, all right? So I'm gonna ask for forgiveness and permission right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you all what the four letter words are going to be. So one of them is going to be work, all right? The other one is gonna be discipline, okay? The other four letter word is going to be no. And then the other four letter word is going to be excellence. See, all of these are going to be those nasty four letter words that we don't like to hear. But in order for us to exceed and excel working with the world's affluent, we're going to have to embrace the idea of work. Is anyone in here allergic to work? If you're allergic to work, get out of here now. Because if you're allergic to work, I've heard that that allergy is worse than the vid. You guys know what I'm talking about when I say the vid, right? Okay, so having an allergy to work is worse, especially if you're looking to work with the world's most affluent individuals. Now, we do not have a formal Q&A, so what I'm going to ask you all to do, as you have questions, just raise your hand, uh, and then we will address those questions. Have you all heard that there's no such thing as a dumb question? You've been lied to, okay? There are dumb questions, okay? Oh, can I talk to us like family today? Are you all okay? Now, I don't know. You, some of you said yes because you have a nice family. Some of you are like, ooh, he doesn't know my family, right? So can I speak to you like loving family today? 